perfect combination for me shooting snowboarding in the mountains is the Nikon D800 and the 70-200 lens. It's rugged, weatherproof, you can put the battery pack on it so you've got extended life in the cold conditions. And the 70-200 lens is a really fantastic lens straight out of the box. I always have two pairs of gloves in the mountains, a thin woolen pair, keep my hands warm while I'm shooting and still operate the camera. And then I have a big pair which I can keep in my jacket, keep them warm and put on after I've finished. I can also use these if I'm building or hiking or just moving blocks of snow around. In the mountains there's huge amounts of glare, you've got to protect your eyes. I take a pair of goggles with a few different lenses which I can use to suit different light conditions. Communication is essential in the mountains. I'll always take a pair of walkie-talkies and a fully charged phone. The walkie-talkies are for talking to the rider and the phone is in case of emergencies. Make sure it's fully charged and make sure you know who to call. Anyone working outside the ski area needs to be carrying basic safety equipment, an avalanche transceiver, a shovel and a probe. Shooting digitally, we're now processing so much data, you've got to take two drives with you on a shoot. One is for the original and the second is for backup. When I'm working in the mountains, I can't afford for the camera to stop working. I've started always taking all weather protection with me on all shoots and that just means I can have a little bit more peace of mind when I'm shooting in quite extreme conditions. And finally, the, the Nikon FM2. This is uh, one of the first cameras that I ever bought. I, I got it nearly 15 years ago when I was still shooting film. It might not be quite as user friendly as the new digital cameras, but it's a bunch of fun. The uh, 35 millimeter film has a fantastic look and it's working just as good now as the day I bought it.